Hello, and thanks for watching this uh, quick video. Uh, we're going to be looking at, you know, in Intuit Online Payroll, how you set up uh, the one click to the QuickBooks file. It's actually a lot easier. It used to be the Sync Manager before we had an IAF file. Those are still working fine. But maybe you want, uh, you know, just a, a simpler process. It doesn't even use the Intuit Sync Manager. And by the Sync Manager, I'm talking about this little, you know, this thing down here, right? You guys might use for QuickBooks Mobile or Practice Management or what have you. So you go to your setup and set up overview and you click on preferences and you know you have your QuickBooks file open so here's a file that I want to sync with right and then I click on preferences under export <laughs> and you choose in your accounting software there's three options for QuickBooks Windows right the IAF which was the first one then we had the sync manager one which you have to set up uh, within the sync and the file but this one is just a one click so you would just choose the one click and it's going to uh, you know, think for a while and then prompt. Now, first, it's going to have you install the one-click application. Now, in order to do this, you got to be in IE7 or, or greater, and here are some of the requirements for one-click. And basically, you know, I've already installed the, the, the application, but what you would do is just, uh, if I go to my uh, homepage, here's what it looks like. I saved this one-click export.msi file to my desktop. I ran it, right? It installed it onto my, you know, programs and features list on the computer. And then, uh, oops, sorry, go back into IE here. And once you do that, then you click next, and it says open QuickBooks. In in QuickBooks, open your. So once you have that sync and the the MSI installed for the one click, open your company file. If there's a password, enter it. Return to the page and click next. You click next again, and then it's gonna. I'm gonna go ahead and choose connect, and it's probably gonna give me, you know, uh, connect a QuickBooks certificate because it's gonna be an integrated app on this file under preferences, right? So and then that's pretty much it. So I'm gonna go ahead and click connect. And I've established a connection that allows payroll data to get to the file. And I don't, I didn't need the certificate because I've done it before in this file. I just upgraded it though from 12 to 13 because I had this going in 13. But it should be an integrated app here, one-click export, right? That's what you want. And if you haven't hooked it up before, it'll it'll give you that that certificate thing. You just click yes, and that's that, and done. Follow the instructions. You click next again, and now. I'm hooked up now for one click, and I'm uh, connected to this particular uh, QuickBooks file. If it's the wrong one, you can connect to a different one. And then I want to go ahead and choose uh, OK. So, <clears throat> and that's about it. Um, and then when I'm done with payday, at the end of payday, you're going to be able to export to QuickBooks, and it's just going to do it behind the scenes. And, and it'll dump the check into the register, you know, for the particular... Uh, employee you know just be regular checks right so if tom's my employee and these accounts come over and i believe it's the same one click with the intuit full service payroll as with intuit online payroll so i hope that's uh, helpful there and that's how you set up one click have a great day